Do you know coconut farming is another lucrative business here that can make you up to 180,000 Ghana cities every year? Well, in today's video, I'm going to give you some hidden information about coconut farming business here that you don't know so that you can make informed decision whenever you want to start your own farming business here in Ghana. Let's get started. So to start your own coconut farming business like like any other farm you need to acquire a land and the best place to acquire the land is in the suburb areas or outside the main towns so that you can get at a lower cost or at a lower price currently in my farming area the cost of an acre of land is 600 Ghana cities so let's say you want to buy 10 acres of land that means you'll be needing 6,000 Ghana cities to acquire 10 acres of land note that four four plots of land makes an acre here in Ghana also know that some of the prices that i mentioned here are based on the prices in my farming area it doesn't apply to all farming communities here in ghana so in case you hear somebody mentioning any price higher than what i am mentioning don't be surprised or you hear someone mentions lesser price than i have stated here in this video don't be so surprised about that let's continue after you acquire the land the next thing to do is to test your soil before you even purchase the land or pay for the land get an agri officers to test the soil to find out whether it is suitable to for the coconut or not coconut plants like soil that can hold and drain water at the same time and that is the loam soil so to be sure about this you need an agri officer to test the soil so that you can be sure of whatever you are going to get yourself into before you start farming on the land make sure the land belongs to you or it has been leased to you for more than 50 years so that you can be able to make some significant amount of money from that farm if not you might end up having problem with some individuals some family members or even a whole community coming at you and i hope you, you don't want such things to happen to you so put all those things in place before you start farming on the land now after you finish putting all those things into place the next thing to do is to plow your land before you plow your land you can get some compost or some animal dung and spread it on the top of the soil before you plow the land this can give the soil enough nutrients to help the plant to grow and develop very well so let's move to the next step so after you have plowed the land with and uh, mix the soil with your compost the next thing we are looking at is planting and coconut depends so much on water to develop very well and here in ghana coconuts are planted during the wet season that's the rainy season that's between april to may most farmers prefer the hybrid that can give them enough fruit to ensure proper development and growth of your coconut make sure that the seedlings you are going to buy is between eight months to ten months of age so that you can get the best out of it also plant the seedlings immediately you remove it from the nursery currently one seedling of coconut costs three Ghana cities and you need 85 trees on an acre of land so that means you're going to spend 255 Ghana cities on seedlings to plant on an acre of land let's assume you are buying you are going to plant on 10 acres of land that means you spend 2550 Ghana cities to purchase seedlings for 10 acres of land let's continue after planting to ensure better growth and development of your plant you need to apply some fertilizers or npks on top of the soil this can help your coconut plant to grow very well the next thing you are thinking of is irrigation it's very important especially at the early stage so that the, the seedlings can be able to adapt to the soil so just after planting you need to water the plant for for days for at least for some weeks so that it can be able to adapt to the soil also make sure that whenever you buy the seedlings and you take it from the nursery you make sure you plant it immediately so that the plant can be able to survive so it takes four to five years before you can start harvesting according to experts and within this waiting period you can also be practicing intercropping on the land you can cultivate um, some cassavas, legumes, plantains, and other plants on the land. But before you, you, you start that, get some agri officers to find out whether your coconut plant has gotten to the advanced stage where you can practice the intercropping. It's time for our bonus. 
Now let's find out how much it's starting to make starting a coconut farming here in Ghana. Like I said, it takes four to five years and some nine years, depending on the varieties. But, but in my farming areas, most of the seedlings the farmers are cultivating takes four to five years before you can start harvesting. Remember when I was talking about the planting, I said it takes 85 trees on an acre of land. So that means from five years, according to the farmers, an acre of coconut farm produces averagely 700 to thousand coconut fruits every year with an estimated market value of about 1500 ghana cities each month this means in a year you should be expecting an, an estimated amount of 18,000 ghana cities on an acre of, of coconut farm let's assume you have 10 acres of coconut farm that means you're going to multiply the 18,000 Ghana cities times 10, and that means you are expecting to get about 180,000 Ghana cities every year from 10 acres of coconut farm. That is $15,000 every year. This video is very lengthy, so I decided to pause here. This is a part one of it. I'll bring you detailed information in the, the part two. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which aspect of the video you enjoyed most in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.